What's up, you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So, as you can tell by the title, I'm talking about SDCC Transformers reveals. So, uh, they were pretty good. Nothing really too insane, except for maybe one or two on this list. Uh, they played it kind of safe, as they've been doing the past few years, basically. We got Cup as the triple... what is this? Triple T? Yeah, I'm not I'm not that big of a G.I. Joe fan. I mean, I like it, but, you know, I don't know about all the vehicles. So I guess it's called the Triple T, and this is Cup with Leatherneck and Sergeant Slaughter, which is a pretty cool little pairing. Um, obviously, Cup and Sar Sergeant Slaughter, they are very similar characters, so this pairing does make sense, and it is pretty cool. Uh, I don't really care about this. I'm not too big of a fan of the G.I. Joe collabs, but I'm sure a lot of people out there are really going to be into this because it does doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty good, the cup robot mode there. But uh, next one here, we have another collab. It is Knight Rider. This was the one that surprised me. I didn't know for sure one of those listings or not was going to be Knight Rider. This is called Agent Knight. Uh, and yeah, they, they made the Knight Rider collab happen. I know a lot of people... Uh, over the last 40 dec or oh my god 40 decades four decades have been wanting a Knight Rider transformer of some sort and we finally got it and this looks really cool I mean there's clear plastic inserts all over this thing uh, which you don't even get on regular mainline transformers so they they really seem to be putting their attention to detail here on this particular uh, car bot now the price on this guy I'm not sure. Because he looks to be a deluxe. Oh, he's 50 bucks. Oh, damn. All right. So, almost practically leader class price for basically a deluxe class figure. That's pretty crazy. But I guess, you know, for the for the licensing and all the other fees, they got to up the price, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely not going to be getting this for 50 bucks, if at all. But, uh, yeah, still pretty good looking. And this was leaked about a month or two back, this uh, Bludgeon and Ruckus 2-pack. I already talked about this. It's all right, you know, not too bad. Bludgeon still sucks, and Ruckus uh, surprisingly got a lot of retooling done to him, which makes him look pretty good. Bludgeon got some remolding too, but he's still not really what he needs to be, which really sucks. Second go-around at Bludgeon, and they just can't seem to get it right. Uh, so yeah, this two-pack really isn't catching my eye too much. And uh, next one here, we got Frenzy, which is black for some reason. I don't know why they decided to do Frenzy black as black for this movie. But uh, hey, I guess that's the concept art that was laying around. Uh, I don't think we had any idea of how Frenzy would look in this movie or any idea at all that Frenzy was even considered for the Bumblebee movie. But hey... This is okay, I guess. Um, I wish there was a little bit more red on him, but still not too bad of a repaint. And we saw this uh, core class Starscream leaked like a month or two back as well, so nothing really new there. Decent little core class figure. And we have a single pack release of Transformers Reactivate Deluxe Bumblebee. For those of you that either missed out on the two pack or don't want to spend the extra 60 something bucks on the two pack with Starscream, you can get a single release of Bumblebee right here, which is a good little idea for those of you who just want Bumblebee. Uh, so that's not too bad. And we have a new Transformers 1 Deluxe here, Megatron. I don't know about this Megatron. I've seen some people gushing over this thing, but I don't know. Those long, those those legs are pretty long. He's looking a little bit like RAD 2001 Magnus right here. I don't know what's going on. I really don't remember Megatron in the Transformers 1 trailers having this long of legs. Maybe they sacrificed it for the tank mode, it seems like. Which, the tank mode looks pretty good. You know, typical Cybertronian mode that you would see a tank former as. Nothing really too shocking there, but... Yeah, uh, it's just throwing me off there with the proportions. I can't remember if he actually looked like that proportionally in, in the trailers or not, but I don't think he did. I think I would have remembered that, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really not feeling this Megatron at all. We had this listing a couple months back for this multi-pack for ROTF, and people were speculating on what it is, and... A lot of us landed on the conclusion that it was Jetfire and Optimus, and surely enough, that's what it is. And we were thinking the other figure would be Ratchet or, like, Sideswipe or something, but 
They decided to be the RC triplets, which is like the least expensive and hard to find figure on the aftermarket out of all the options they could have done. So, <laughs> Hasbro, I think you should have done Ratchet or Sideswipe in this multi pack. I think it would have made more sense because obviously those two characters were a lot more prevalent in the final battle, especially Ratchet with him actually doing the the combination mode for Jetfire and Optimus. The RC triplets, they were more so just background characters really having uh, just one semi-major role in one scene out of the whole final battle. So uh, yeah, a bit of a weird decision, but uh, still not terrible. I mean, those are still pretty good figures for what they are. So, but I think they should have done Ratchet, especially given how hard he is to find on the aftermarket nowadays. But not too bad of a multi-pack, not really something that I'm too uh, excited for, perhaps, because, you know, I don't like that Optimus mold. And I think Jetfire should be bigger, but hey, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Transformers reveals. For, oh, oh, there's one more. Oh, crap. This was the one that really uh, got me hyped here. War for Cybertron game, Ratchet at Voyager Class. About damn time we got my boy Ratchet from the games, and we obviously got that Ironhide repaint coming not too long after. And it looks good, you know. Maybe the white is a little too... Um, cheap and creamy looking and he could use some more paint on him but other than that he looks pretty good he looks like he's going to be just as good as starscream or optimus he's got that cool axe he's got that big cannon with him that looks nice so yeah this ratchet looks like a knock out of the park a nice little home run right here uh, i think this is the first time we've ever gotten a mainline war for cybertron game ratchet uh, other than the white color for for Ratchet here that they decided to use looking a bit weird, I think this looks pretty good, and I honestly cannot wait to get my hands on this guy, and especially that Ironhide repaint and remold that is definitely coming. We did get a listing for that not too long back. So, yeah, this looks like a pretty good figure, potentially. But, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video for the reveals. Let me know, let me know down in the comments below what do y'all think about the Transformers reveals at STCC. Do you love them? Do you hate them? All my social medias are linked down below. My email is also linked down below if y'all want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever. Or if you want to subscribe to my new Patreon link down below. It's got tons of exclusive content that you won't see here on YouTube or anywhere else, such as exclusive stop motions, Transformers for photography you guys get one week access before everybody else here on youtube to my stop motion films discord access exclusive music and music snippets for my stop motion films so if you guys want to help support me and help support the channel i would greatly appreciate it but yeah guys thank you for watching this video catch y'all in the next one bye